Alright, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Moose, hope you guys are doing good, hope you're healthy and safe. We are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! We Chef of Destruction, and off-screen, as I mentioned, I got the remaining dual point, or dual deck capacity, so that I could use Solitude into my deck, which is perfect. So right now, we're gonna continue on and find Mako Tsunami, help him out, and see what happens. Hopefully, we... I think this is the final Rare Hunter. Um, Neo Ghoul that we have to beat so that the city is completely cleared. But we're gonna be testing that out and see how it goes. And yeah, I also had to do some some further mic testing, so hopefully now the game volume is much better, much louder. Because before my mic was also a little low, so I turned it up a little bit as well. And I also got this a little bit higher. So we will see. I think it should sound good now. Ah, strings. S say something. He doesn't talk. W what a strange individual. I've never felt so uncomfortable. It's time to duel. Hey, you've come just at the right time. Can you do something about this person? I lack the skill to deal with such weirdness. Leave it to me. <laughs> he creeps me out too. Nice. I'm counting on you. Alrighty, here we go. It should be the last of the rare hunters. Alright, let's get something decent to ante up, like this. And we should be good. Alright, so we're starting off a little strong with Crocodilus. But we're gonna just see what happens first, right? As we've learned before, we gotta check how they start. Earth type, Worm Drake, 1400 attack points. Okay. Uh, I don't have any trap cards, so I'm a little concerned. Yeah, I'm pretty concerned right now. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna just see how it goes. Uh-oh. Ooh, an electric type! I need an electric type for this weakness. Which I just wasted earlier. That's sad. I am so sad I wasted that, but it's okay, we use these duels to learn, you know, see what they have, and all that stuff. We should be okay, hopefully. I don't have a lot of electro types. This is 1200. Oh boy. But I do have 1200 defense in this. Is it all aqua types? Because I can- oh shit. It's an aqua type, oh, okay. So I need electric as soon as possible. But yeah, the other thing is, since I'm wearing these headsets, you know, they're pretty noise canceling, like, so I don't hear much outside aside, except from what's, you know, in my ears. So that's the main reason why at some times it does sound like I'm talking low or whispering because I don't hear it, you know? So I'm pretty much just testing it out. Hopefully I got it at the right... Damn. I'm gonna need a lot of electric types for this, from what I'm seeing. Definitely gonna need a, a couple ones. But yeah, um, unfortunately my save file has gotten corrupted, so I'm gonna have to use save states now. Because, yeah, it's been a while since I've played on this. So I'm gonna have to, like, mess around with the safe state. Like, right now. <laughs> yeah. Because, I don't know, um, for some reason, that's kind of what happened. Alright, so since there's a lot of water types, we are going to make some adjustments. Alright. He has a lot of water types and a couple of earth types. Which means... Right, that, that was the button. Alright, so since he has a lot of water types, I'm kind of willing to get rid of these. Three fire grass, two wing weavers, and we're gonna add some electro types. Because that's a lot of strong water types, and we're gonna need to make the adjustment, you know? It's, it's, it, just, it has to happen, right? It has to happen. 
So where is the Electrotypes? We're gonna put all the ones that we have. Satellite Cannon, oh! Okay, so I have this, I have this one as well. I don't have a lot of Electrotypes. Why can't I put this... Oh, right, I don't have a lot of these. Well, that's sad. Well, I don't have a lot of Electrotypes. But it's okay. I have an idea. We're gonna go to the shop right now, and we're gonna take care of this. And save using the save state. <laughs> Alright, here we go. These things are expensive to purchase, by the way, so it's 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 crazy. Um, yeah, based on summon, and we're gonna go down to electric and maybe a few. God, these are expensive. Jesus, they're all so expensive. Look at this, 3.4k for this card. It's insanity, man. All right, two electric types. This one is cheap. Doesn't matter how strong it is, really, as long as it's an Electrotype. See this? Not a lot of Electrotypes. Okay, and a few Winged Beast types, but I think I already have these. So expensive. You are so expensive. Okay, so, I <laughs> had to <laughs> pause the recording because uh, mom came into my room. But yes, um, okay, so we need to make some changes here. Um, we're gonna have to go down. What did I put earlier? I don't even remember. But yeah, I do have a couple of winged beasts that I can use because I did see he has a couple of earth types, right? So. Winged Beast is also going to be pretty helpful for this. It's not going to be all electric types. Since I don't have a lot of electric types, you know, like this is already three out of three. This is just one copy. And over here we have, you know, two little copies here. So we're going to go into the deck and make this adjustment right now. What were the cards that I put in? Yeah, like over here we have one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna put a sixth copy, and then the other two copies are gonna be wind related. There we go. And. Winged Beast. The strongest ones I got. Why not? Spellcaster. I mean, they are costly. 900 attack points. 900 defense. But they're just here temporarily. Yeah, I gotta grab the tiny ones. There we go. Or do I have room to put this one in? Nope, do not. There we go. Alright, so that should be good. So again, before I get into this duel, I'm gonna have to do a safe state because I can no longer save outside of the house. I'm sad that it got corrupted, but you know, I, from what I remember, because I really, it's been so long since I actually played this game for the first time and beat it. Um, it's been so long. Gotta do the save state now. But yeah, it's been so long. I don't think in this game I'm going to need. Uh, what do you call it? Okay, let's use this card as anti. Yeah, um, 
We're gonna see how it goes. Oh god, okay. I have the wind type. I have a water type. Not the hourglass. I'm gonna use this as bait. See what happens. Maybe he starts different, you never know. Everybody has a difficult pattern. That's an earth type. I got the wind. I got the wind. If he has two wins in a row, I am perfectly safe. This is 1100. I'm also at 1100. Let's get rid of this. Although, I don't... I, I, my monster's gonna die for sure, but... You know, we're, we're stalling for now. That's another earth type! Fuck yes! Oh, This is the electro type? Perfect. We're gonna wait. We are going to wait and use our glass of life to boost the attack points a little bit more. It's an earth type. Wonderful pattern. Love to see it. Alright, we got this, we got this. I'm confident, I'm confident. If he summons a water type, I got the electric. Oh boy, it's survival gem. He's gonna get two copies, but he won't be able to attack right now. So I should be able to dis Well, I have two electric types for this. I also have our glass of life. I should have tribute summoned. But my electrotype is gonna stay alive. But yeah, I, I I might lose two monsters. Unless he tribute summons. Is it a water type? Is it a water type? Water type? It's all water types. Okay, this one is... Oh, perfect. This is good. Okay, safety first. Get rid of the water types. Restart the field. We have invisible wire. If he summons any monster with attack points higher than 2,000. 2,000 or less. So that should keep us pretty much safe. There we go. Karate Man is an earth type. Wonderful. Alright, we're gonna make the comeback. It's gonna happen. Uh, we got this in case we need the wind protection, right? Or I can just get this because I doubt he has anything. But I learned my lesson last time. He might have a light type. So we're gonna get this on the field in case he has an earth type. I'm gonna play it safe. And then next turn... I'm gonna do what I gotta do. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah, that's an earth type. Okay. So far, it's just earth and water. Huh. Well, this is 1700 attack points, and it is a safer bet. Right? Because most of the water types he summoned on their own without tribute summoning were weaker than 1700. So this is a safer bet to gamble on. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, still on the earth type. Lovely. Um... I have two hourglasses of life. Very, very tempting. Let's get the boost. Yeah, last time he focused more towards aqua, but now he's focusing more on earth, so I'm glad I put the mix and I drew the right cards at the right time. Revival Jam. That's okay, 1700 attack points, he cannot attack. We are going to bait that trap card. Electric, perfect. Uh, I think the safest thing for me to do is use another Hourglass of Life. That way all my other monsters are gonna be strong enough. These two are gonna be strong enough to defeat the Rev Revival Jam, and this one's gonna attack to finish it. Or this one will attack to bait. Yeah, it had to be done. Alright, so he survives for one more turn because of this. Wait. No, it's good. 
Yeah, we did it! Three deck capacity, let's fucking go! 1000 Domino, and I got a Humanoid Worm Drake! It costs 3, it's Aqua, 2200 attack, 2000 defense. It is a very cheap cost monster. So I can use this if I want to as my 2 tribute card. It depends on the situation. Lost. And he fucked off. <laughs> yes, thank you! But what brings you here? I see. What a horrible situation. This is why I've been sensing trouble among the waves. My instincts tell me something more sinister is in the works. Anyways, I'm going to the town of Domino. Alright, I think that's everybody that we could have collected before the fight with Bennett Keith, maybe. Let's go find another ally. But apparently that's not everybody. We we went everywhere except for maybe Bakora, the Egypt exhibition. We went here. Town Square already was taken care of. China, Canada, Italy is done. Domino Pier. Yeah, that remains the Egypt exhibition, the Domino Station. They took Ishizu at the exhibition, which means the only person remaining in the Domino Station is Bakura. Because now, look at this, we have everybody covering a section, having removed the rare hunters in the area, except for this guy. I think Bakura is going to take care of him. Yeah. Bakura, I think, will be the last one. So we're gonna re we're gonna freaking restore our points. I think we can pull this off in this episode. It's looking good. First, we gotta put everything back to the way they were. We gotta put everything back. <laughs> Because I don't use much of these. And... Oh, I could use this for defense. He costs a lot, though. Uh, I can keep him. Alright, two water types, and now we have room for two fire types, because I took care of- I took out the fire types. So let's put them back. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. Um... I need to get rid of Prisman. Actually, what happens if I put in the weaker fire type? No. All right, yeah, Prisman is, uh, Prisman has to go. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Or, let me check the cost here, 72. Prisman has stronger defense, honestly, and a stronger attack stat. Um, I could put a weaker wind. This is only 37, okay, and I can put a weak fire type, or can I put this? No. There we go. This is only 600 attack points. It's totally fine. We're just gonna keep the, the we're just gonna keep it like this for now. But yeah, we are getting to that point. We gotta reset the deck capacity, farm a little bit more, you know, increase it. All right, gonna restore. We're saving, even though it doesn't work. <laughs> and we're gonna give this one final duel a go before we finish this episode. To the Domino Station. I gotta do a save here now, because that's what we do now. There we go. Uh, was it here? 
Or was it the exhibition? I don't... Let me check here. You wanna know what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Those weird guys won't let us up to the platform. Do I have to beat all of them? Oh my, what to do, what to do? What on earth are those people up to? Those neo-ghouls are horrible delinquents. Oh, what to do, what to do? I'll check the exhibition first, because either I have to beat all three of them, or just one of them. This is where they took Ishizu. They're blocking the area. You will proceed no further. Okay, there's something else I gotta do. There is one more person I gotta get. This is the Neo Ghouls' turf. Get lost. Yeah, alright. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to Asperoba, I think, because now I gathered everybody. In order to kick the Neo Ghouls out of town, we'll need more duelists on our side. Huh. Okay, then I guess I gotta talk to Mokuba and see if we can get Kaiba. My duty is to protect Kaiba Corp. My big brother left me in charge and I won't fail him. Okay... Master Mokuba protects Kaiba Corp and I protect him. There's gotta be something I need to do here, cause... Wait, where did Bones go? Is he up here? I actually have not seen Bones. I don't know where he's covering. He's not down here. He is someone that I rescued. <laughs> Is he up here? That's... odd. Let me check if they say anything if I go into the shop. No. Where is Bones at? He's not back here, cause... Why, why would he be back... Oh, Right... My save file corrupted before I saved that I beat Bones. So yeah, he's the person I'm missing. That's why I was so weird. So I'm gonna have to beat these guys again. Well, just him. And get Bones and then we're good. Right, because the save file saved at... Right, I remember now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to kill him. I mean, uh, beat him. <laughs> Gonna have to fight him again because Seifa got corrupted. <laughs> what do we got? Water? Oh my god, what the hell is this? 1050 attack points? 1150, fuck. This is a tricky hand, not gonna lie. Oh boy. Light. I need shadow. I need shadow fast. <laughs> 2080 attack points. One shadow or a trap card at this point. Uh, 
Oh, this is not gonna go well. Another tribute summon, oh boy. Ooh. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this part. So yeah, that's what was missing. I beat everybody except for the dude here. And then Bones will cover the area at the bottom and then we should be good to go. So I gotta beat him again. Oh no, I don't like starting like this. No trap cards. If he starts with a water type, I'll be fine. <laughs> But I don't know. Oh, thank god, he started with water type. I can tribute someone and be okay. After I bait that trap card, never mind. Okay, I have a protection for next turn, so whatever he gets on the field, I'm Gucci. I'm gonna get this. Uh. Yeah, I gotta bait it, you know? Okay. Does he have another aqua type? That would be nice. No, okay. Uh, that's grass. I can destroy that this turn, unless he's tribute summons. Son of a bitch. Do I risk letting him tribute summon and then destroying this? That is the pattern. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. Oh dear. Yeah, this this is the dude that I think last episode I had to like take a few tries because of the patterns. But he seems to be favoring aqua types as well. A lot of aqua types. Maybe I'll have to put some more electric types in my deck again, just for him. But yeah, that capacity is crazy right now. The monsters are pretty weak at the moment. But yes, if this is his pattern, then it's no problem. If this is his pattern, no problem. I'll put the Electrotypes back in my deck. And at least, you know, help me stall. any lower ones. Alright, let's save it. There. It's pretty weird how some of them favor certain elements. <laughs> But I do love starting out with my trap cards. That's that's something I really want. All right, starts off with grass. I have a lot of tribute monsters in my hand. 
This protects me from 1,000 or less attack points, so it's not going to do anything for me. This is a horrible start. I, I don't have any monsters that I can just summon. <laughs> oh boy. Oh hey, how about that? <laughs> I guess it did help. A little bit. I don't know, I might have to restart this. <laughs> Yep, yeah, nope, this is not good. We gotta do it again! Yeah, this dude is has made me restart a lot, but you know, again, it's all part of the... Ooh! Well, this... This is good. <laughs> this is really good. Now we're talking, let's go! I'm well protected for the next two turns. Let's fucking go. Long enough for me to do my tribute? Yep, I'll do it. 1700 attack points. He doesn't have any pyrotypes, so already we're already looking great. Nice. Yeah, all I needed again was just a good start with the trap cards, and then it's pretty much good. Second trap card defeated. This last trap card has a little bit of a priority difference. But we'll see what happens, right? You know, you never know, it could still work. No. <laughs> it had more than 1,000 attack points. But it's okay, we got this, we got this. I almost won. <laughs> but it's okay, we got it, we got it. Nickel Gall number one. Alright, we did it! We beat him again and helped out Bones for the second time. <laughs> A spell card. Nice. Alright, so we already took care of this last episode. Alright, nice. We got everybody. Okay, let's also get back to the town of Domino. Here we go. Before this episode ends. We're going to... Hopefully not run into a duel right away, because uh, life point changes. Oh boy. Big brother, we can go too, right? No, I have a bad feeling about this. But the Neo Ghouls, they're almost gone. Let's wait until Mu and his friends come back. You never let us do anything. I'm only trying to keep you safe. I'm old enough to take care of myself. I mean, I need both my hands to count my age. Come on, don't fight. If that's what you want to do, fine. But you're going to have to look after everyone. Okay, big brother, I will. Let's go, you guys. Yay! <laughs> oh, God. My brothers can be so frustrating. We're gonna save first, right? Because I didn't save. Oh, you're back. Most of the Neo Ghouls have been rooted from the town of Domino. But there are some still lurking around. Can you find and defeat them? Yes. Let me do another save in case it puts me in this immediately. Save number two. Yes. Okay, thanks. They should still be in Clock Tower Square. Nice, alright. So we're gonna have to beat some ghouls in a clock tower square. We get to save. Now, with the recent deck modifications, since I've been just swapping around fire types with uh, grass types and electric types, I might just keep it the way it is. 
Uh, let me just check here. I'm gonna do a save. And then in the next episode, we're gonna finish beating them. Clock Tower Square. Where exactly are they? Up here? This is the clock tower. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think the clock tower square is somewhere else. But it does look like they're all gone from here. Unless it's a new area in the map. No. Yeah, clock tower square. We already took care of everything. So now it's just... Domino Station time. I think it's these guys that he, that he was talking about. What happens if I challenge them? Oh, okay. Alright, let me see here. Uh, I had 7 minutes on this one. Uh, 29. Alright, we're at 36. 36 minutes here. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna try this out. Just to see what happens, because I, leave, I really do not remember. Um, let's see what happens if we beat this guy. Giant rat. Okay. Earth type. No, grass type. I got rid of my fire type, so this already looks bad for me. <laughs> Unless he tribute summons into something that I can beat. That would be nice. No. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna have to stack up on pyro types for this one now. Let's see what else we get. Oh! Earth Dragon. Do I have a winged beast? I think I have exactly the perfect card for this. Yeah, this is for... No, 2000 attack points or less. This is not gonna work. Damn. Right, it's fine. We're learning, we're seeing what he has in his deck, and we'll prepare for it much better, right? That one's destroyed. Third giant wrath. Okay. Not what I was looking for. We're gonna use this effect. I will draw a card because of this. It may have been bad for me. Possibly. Come on, one winged beast will turn this around for me. Fire? Well, I got a water. Weaker grass type. Yeah, this one has a lot of grass. Alright. Uh, we'll keep this in mind. I will give it one more attempt. Hopefully it works. Right, I can get rid of these now. Right, I'm gonna have to add a couple of winged beasts here. Do 
There are a couple of weak ones that I can add. And a couple of weak pyrotypes. Any one of them will do. Okay, four pyrotypes. And two weak winged beasts. There, that works. Okay, let's save it. We're gonna try one more time and then end the episode here. If I start with a trap card, it would always be great for me. Okay. Is it just grass again? Oh god, fire. Oh, lucky for me, I have a water type in my hand. Jesus Christ, Dark Fire Dragon. And now it's Giant Rat. 1400. I do have a fire, a fire type in my hand. If he has another Giant Rat, I can Tribute Summon and basically get this Leo Ghoul on my field. Nice, okay. I also have this. Okay, Grass is weak. None of his solo monsters are stronger than this. Alright, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Why, why did we both start with 9,000 life points? What is this? <laughs> I just noticed we have 9,000 life points. What the hell? Okay, we have this, and this will be back up. Clear the field. Do, do as much damage as possible. Yeah, that's, that's 9,000 life points. That's crazy. Oh, hey! It's weak to solitude, too. Whatever it is, I like it. We're gonna use the effect here. Ah! Nice. That boost was perfect. Okay, this monster is also weak towards our glass of life. Never mind, it just doesn't have attack points. Almost, we got the next turn and we're good. Hopefully something happens, like a, a checkpoint or something, because there's nobody in the clock tower square. Nice, he mainly has high defense now. Alright, let's see what happens. Thirty thousand year white turtle. A hundred and sixteen is the cost. But it's a sacrifice monster. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, this is getting us nowhere. Let's go find other duelists to help us. Huh. Maybe I gotta talk to Esperoba again and bring him here? Alright, this is pretty much weird. I think I'm gonna try to just talk to the guys and see what happens. And then based on that, it'll... something will happen. Because there's nobody here at the clock town square. So I'm gonna have to come back with more duelists as backup. So let me talk to him and see what he says. There are still some lurking around. They should still be in Clock Tower Square. There's nobody in the Clock Tower Square. What are you talking about? They're all gone. We need to bring the guys with us. Ah, oh, here we go. You want to know where the Neo Ghouls are hiding the town in the town of Domino? 
makes you think I would know, you foolish flea? Well, jeez. So they are hiding somewhere. There are Neo Ghouls still hiding in the town of Domino? That may explain some things. There's something mysterious going on at Kaiba Corp. Okay. Alright. Now, I think I have explored enough to where I'm gonna have to just cover this in the next episode. Because <laughs> I've gone way over my time. And I've gotten uh, interrupted twice now. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it here. Thanks so much for watching, and in the next episode we're gonna take care of the remaining ghouls in the town so that we can do and prepare for the final fight and see what happens. So take care, be safe, and leave a like if you enjoyed the episode, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and enjoy the content. Bye!